I think a lot of my formation as a student, as an individual at BC has kind of taken place in the upper reaches of the co-row buildings, um, especially the student center of student formation, which we're at right now. Um, this is where I um, first received spiritual direction at BC. Um, I was recommended to speak with a Jesuit to kind of wrestle with the challenges that I came to BC with, um, kind of integrating my spiritual life and, and knowing that um, my sexuality was, was not the norm. Um, and that was um, a really big game changer for me freshman year where I really started to feel like BC could be a place um, that could be home. BC has been for me just a place where I've had conversations that I never thought I would. And at BC, having a place to talk about the intersection of, of being gay and being Catholic and um, being biracial, um, yeah, that's, um, formation spaces really have, <laughs> as contrived as that may seem, um, have played a really important role in giving me a place where I could be honest with myself and with somebody else, um, which I think is just as equally important. The mentors that I had um, had this ability to meet me exactly where I was at, and it only seemed right to kind of follow stride with that and um, understand that people just want to be heard and um, to have that that honor to be able to, sh to kind of accompany them in that um, has really kind of guided me into decisions um, for areas of study, um, for organizations that I'm involved with, and also what I want to do come 50 days from now. People that love and care about you see you in a way that's more honest than you can see yourself. Having mentors in many ways is making the understanding of self much clearer and much kinder.